What's going on Guitar Heroes? My name's Nathan Whitney and this is a comparison video between the Tima in the HX ecosystem and the MXR Timmy pedal. In the demo song, I was using this Yamaha Pacifica loaded with MJS custom pickups, got a P90, a single coil, and a humbucker. I also used a Yamaha Pacifica 102S a T style guitar and that's loaded with MJS pickups as well. And the signal chain goes from the guitar into the HX stomp and in the HX stomp we start off with our our input the gate is on negative 48 for threshold the case pretty standard everything's pretty standard here the signal chain goes into the Tima first then into the effects loop the amp and cab that I chose this is actually pretty much the stock settings for this new Brit 2203 amp that Line 6 recently put out in their 3.7 firmware update. So the settings are on the screen, you can see that. Pretty stock, but I think I increased the gain a bit. In the cab section, it's the stock settings. The only thing I did here I know was bring down the high cut to nine kilohertz. After the amp and cab, we're using the dynamic ambience. I'm using the 10 meter room size. And then in the demo song, I was using this vintage digital delay. Here is my cleanish sound on snapshot one. <laughs> you're gonna hear that riff a lot. On snapshot three, I have set up, you can see it's over here, snapshot three, I've got set up the effects loop, the effects loop is on, and the Timmy is going through that. So it sounds like this, with everything at noon and the clip switch all the way to the right. <laughs> Down, and I'm controlling the snapshots on the HX stomp via my keyboard and HX edit. All right, now let's check out the Tima. Everything is at five and I've moved the clipping switch over to the right hand side, which it indicates down. Uh, on the original Timmy's, it was an up down clipping switch and on the uh, MXR Timmy, it's a left right clipping switch. So I'm not exactly sure. I think these will line up, but let's see. <laughs> So tonally, like gain wise, it does, it's very similar, but there's too much treble, all that, uh, and not enough bass. Let's switch between the Tima and the All right. Uh, the thing on the original Timmy was that bass and treble knobs were not actually boosts, they were cut. So when you started at zero, it was like it was wide open. And as you turned up, the bass knob, the bass would go down. And on the treble, it's the same thing. As you turned up the treble knob, the treble would go down. But on the MXR version, it's actually kind of standard the way you think of it. So if you turn clockwise or up, um, you're getting more bass or more treble. And if you're turning it counterclockwise or down, you're getting less bass, less treble. When I turn up on the Timmy, I will be turning down on the Tima. Let's just switch the clipping back to the Timmy. I'm just gonna hit this. I'm gonna make sure I stay on the neck pickup. Tima. So it's pretty bright. Let's just see if this makes a difference. Not really. Back to the... No, nope, there's a lot of low end and it's a little more gainy, so... I'll leave it over there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut treble by raising the treble on the Tima. I think that's just the Timmy. Getting closer. I'm going to pull down the treble just a bit more or by raising it. Up. And I'm also going to bring in some bass by lowering the bass on the Tima. And now here's the Timmy. Getting closer. Let me bring a little more bass and cut a little more treble. Timmy. I think there's just a little bit of a level difference. Let's bring it up there. And back over to the Timmy. So switching back and forth, you can see when the Timmy is all at noon, the settings on the Tima have to be pretty extreme that way, but it matches. Let me just switch to this up clip and switch this to the left hand clip. 
and see if it sounds the same. So Timmy. Tima. Yeah, maybe. It's it's 1% either way, it's, it's happening. If we cut all the bass on the Tima and cut all the treble, we're gonna lower the bass all the way down and the treble all the way down. And let's see, so on the Timmy, it sounds like this. <laughs> let's play a right chord. And the Tima. So at the most extreme settings, everything off, it's pretty similar. Yeah, I might bring down the gain just a touch on the Tima. And the level just a bit as well. It's close, it feels like the Timmy has a bit more bass at this setting. It sounds like the uh, there's a little more bass in the Timmy than on the Tima, but it's it's really close. So let's go the opposite way. Let's turn the bass and the treble all the way up on the Timmy. And then on the Tima, we're gonna turn the bass and the treble all the way down, which is a cut, which makes sense. So here's the Timmy, this is still neck pickup. And Tima. The Timmy definitely has a little more bass than the Tima, but that might just be the difference in which model, Line 6 modeled of the Timmy. I don't want to get too much farther into this. It sounds very similar. To make it match exactly, you have to change pretty extreme as you could, as you saw. The one last test here, I'm going to crank the gain all the way up and go in the middle position on the Timmy. So on the Tima, I'm going to go back to 5, gain to 10, and center. And the volume is, yeah, just a bit. Let's bring that back down to 5. But let's hear how this sounds. Gain all the way up, and let's go to the bridge pickup. Humbuckers. <laughs> And now to the Tima. All in all, pretty close. Let me just see if I can dial that EQ in a bit. Like I said before, you have to, to make it match on this center noon setting on the Timmy, you have to bring the bass cut down and the treble cut up. And there's that volume issue there. So yeah, it's there, it's happening. It sounds great. And I really love this pedal and this model with uh, the JCM 800 2203 in the Helix, sounds great. I think that's a pretty good overview of how close the Timmy and the Tima in the HX Stomp and the Helix ecosystem are. Maybe two or three percent one way, two or three percent the other way, tonally. Getting things to match up exactly, it seems like the extremes are fairly close, just a, a, little, a little more bass on the Timmy pedal. But within those parameters, the zero to 10 on both, you can definitely find matching sounds. So I think the, the Tima model for me is a, is a winner in this combination. Really happy that I can build a pedal board for fun at home, would throw the Timmy on there, but when I'm on the road playing gigs, I can just throw that Tima model in my signal chain. Thank you for checking out this video. If you like this video, I'll make sure to link to the Zen Drive video somewhere over here. 